if you live on a property, you've got dogs, you've got snakes, uh, you're going to want to know what to do if your dog gets bitten by a snake. Uh, it, they're affected just the same, the same as we are, but they've got a smaller body mass, so they tend to be affected a lot faster. And you can't actually get a dog, train a dog necessarily to stay still if they're bitten by a snake. So ideally, you want to get them to the vet as quickly as you possibly can. You might put them inside a pet pack or something like that, have something to transport them in and uh, just get them there as quickly as possible so they can get antivenom. If the dog's unconscious, if you can identify where the bites happened, let's say it happened on the foot and you can see an obvious mark there, or let's say um, they've got blood oozing from the site there, you could put a pressure bandage on that and you could splint it and you could get the dog to the vet as well. Uh, my best dog is a dog that barks at snakes but keeps its distance, so uh, maybe you can train your dog to do that and not actually engage with them. Uh, you find that snakes only ever bite dogs when the dog's actually trying to kill the snake. Usually the snake comes off second best, but if you've got a dog that goes after enough, enough snakes, eventually the numbers game is going to um, stack up against them and they're going to get bitten. It's difficult to answer how long a dog's got if they get bitten by a snake. It depends on a number of factors, but one thing's for certain, they tend to get crook a lot faster than, than uh, humans would because of their high m metabolic rate and, and just how difficult it is to keep them still. They're also often bitten on, on highly vascular areas, you know, around the face, the nose, the lips, and uh, that's going to put the venom into their system quite rapidly. There's nothing you can do to a bite to the face. Uh, apart from, again, get them to the vets. It's a, it's a highly vascular area and it's going to enter their bloodstream very rapidly uh, if that happens to them. So if you live on a property where you've got snakes and you've got a dog that's at risk of getting bitten by the snake, the best thing you can do if they're bitten is confinement and immobilisation. So just think confinement equals immobilisation. You can establish that with a pet pack or something like that and uh, that's going to be the best way. If you can, if you've got speakerphone or something like that, notify the vets that you're on the way. Uh, give them a rundown of what condition the dog's in and they should have everything ready when you get there. So most vets in country areas will stock anti-venom. It's the same stuff they use on people and it works just as effectively for dogs as well. If you're particularly concerned, you've had a couple of run-ins with your dog and snakes, uh, have a chat to the vet and say, hey, if my dog's bitten by the snake, um, are you able to treat it? And just make sure you've got a plan.